Okay, um, tonight, I know it's kind of late and I'm trying to get rabbit stuff done, and um, but we started talking about genetics in our first episode yesterday, and, and we discussed the A locus and how it sets the pattern for your rabbit, whether it is going to be in a goody base or a uh, tan base or a self base. Today we're going to talk about the B locus. Uh, the B locus is entirely uh, going to set whether your, your rabbit is based off of a black color or off of a chocolate color. Um, it's an actually one of the easier locus points to understand. And so just as in the A locus we have two different genes. One is going to represent the color of the rabbit that we visually see. The, the second one can be the equivalent of what we see or it could be the more recessive which is the chocolate. There are only two genes that take place at the B locus. So there's, you can only have black and chocolate. Okay. Now this second gene could be hidden. Uh, you're not going to see it. If, uh, and to, to the best describe that I've done a little bit of a work here. Uh, if you have both capital B's, which is for black, you're going to obviously get a black rabbit. The same is true as if you have a capital B and a lowercase b, which stands for a black rabbit that carries chocolate, you're still going to get a black rabbit. And the reason for that is because black is the more dominant gene at this locus point. It is the top gene. And so, uh, again, if we have only two chocolates, okay, two small bees, that would be a chocolate rabbit. Chocolate rabbits cannot have the dominant black in their genotype, okay? Now, some people will say, well, yeah, you can say that, that, that chocolate, we know that it carries chocolate. Well, because there's nothing recessive, more recessive than this chocolate, we're always going to write our chocolate rabbit as BB. It's the same as if we have a self. A self rabbit under the, the A locus, we know that self is, is created by the lowercase a, and so therefore both positions at the locus point must both be either the, the most recessive for the category. And then in this category in, in particular, there's only two genes to pick from, uh, the dominant and then of course the recessive. Uh, I'll grab a couple of rabbits and I'll show you what uh, a black and a chocolate look like. So I've went and I've picked out a chocolate rabbit. Now you'll notice that the chocolate rabbit is kind of a rich brown color. Uh, this is actually a chocolate otter and you can tell that she's an otter as we learned in our first episode based upon her white under her chin and she's got a little bit of white around the eyes, white under the chin, white belly and then we also again same as in our otter that we showed yesterday this light bit of ticking right here on along the sides. She also has this little bit of little patch here of lighter lighter color.